there. It's another very insightful episode of Questions and Answers with Grace Renner. On this show, I answer your questions. So feel free to send in your deepest concerns, your questions, you know, and I'll be excited to answer them in the best way that I can and by the power of the Holy Spirit. So feel free to send in your questions via the channels that I'll be sharing with you at the end of this video. Now for my very first question. Now a lady asked me or sent me this. She says, I am in a talking state with a guy. We have only had one date since the last time we saw two months ago. He hasn't initiated any other date. How can I tell if he likes me? My sister, please do not wear yourself out thinking about where, whether he likes you or not. That should not even bother you at all. Just follow him at the pace that he is going. Okay? Don't let anybody have such a power over you where you start to think, do they like me? Become, you know, worried about whether they like you, whether they approve of you. That's too much power to put in somebody's hands, okay? Follow him at his own pace. If he doesn't initiate any other date, don't initiate any other date. If he doesn't ask you out, then he's probably not interested. Maybe he doesn't like you that much. Now, let me tell you something. Men are like hunters. They tend to go for what they like. They like to chase after what they like. Now, if he is not chasing you, maybe he doesn't really like you that way. Okay, so just... Follow him at the pace. You've been at the talking stage. Maybe you are the life wire holding that talking stage. You might not know. Now, so let me give you a suggestion. Take the back, back seat going forward. Okay? Take the back seat. Um, if you used to call him before, don't call him. Let him call you. If you used to really want to initiate conversations or, you know, text him first, stop doing that from today. Let him do it consciously withdraw yourself and let him come after you now if he is not coming after you after making this move maybe it's a sign that after all you've been the one you know sustaining the relationship so far okay he probably isn't interested in you probably he's just being polite by keeping up you know reciprocity is one of the signs you know that this person likes you and if he doesn't reciprocate all the effort that you've been putting so far it probably isn't into you that much okay and until he axes you out trust me do not waste your time leave your options open be open to another person that might be interested okay and if you withdraw yourself and, he, and he, if you withdraw yourself and he comes to ask you out, then maybe maybe you know he's interested in you and let me let you know that some guys play games some ladies play games as well but some guys play games okay they do not want to be committed they want you to, you know, chase them, you know. So one of the tactics that they might use is make you feel high, high, high and up there. And then they withdraw. They drop you down low. And then you start to feel insecure. Or what's going on? You start to question yourself. You end up being the one doing the chasing, you know, needing his approval because you're feeling insecure about where you are in his heart. Don't let anybody have that kind of power over you. So i say again, work with him at his pace do not let him um, put you in a place where you're questioning yourself or asking or beginning to you know feel insecure okay you are enough you are complete okay if he's not saying anything if he's not forthcoming leave your options open follow him at the pace as he, at at the pace that he's at okay if he messages you you respond to him if he calls you you take his calls if he suggests outing if you're available you go up but you, you show up but if you're not available oh sorry i'm not available maybe we could reschedule you know don't make anybody feel like they own your life so i feel the need to share a personal story with you i remember i think my first relationship or my second relationship i think it was my first i'm not sure now um there was this guy who kind of showed interest in me you know but we had gone on a date maybe once or twice and then we just stayed on the talking stage for like forever we would talk he would call me you know, we talk for hours upon hours, and you know, and then sometimes he just disappear for a while. We talk, and I really liked him, and I felt like he really liked me too. And we just kept on going that way. And I felt okay, maybe I should actually, you know, find out where we're going, or maybe ask him out. I think I eventually asked him out. I'm not sure. Then we started dating. That was what he wanted from the get go. We started dating. However, I noticed there was no commitment whatsoever. You know, there were times when he would just switch off his phone for four days and the incoming card, I would not be able to reach him. You know, when I go to his house, 
he'll not be there or he'll be there and he'll make excuses like oh he didn't feel like you know talking on the phone you know he'll travel without telling me i'll show up at his house you know looking for him and you know no word whatsoever about his whereabouts and i noticed there was no commitment whatsoever and then at some point he eventually broke up with me and he said something like oh i feel like thicker girls now at the time i was modeling so i was really skinny you know and he said well i feel like thicker girls you know so i'm not really attracted to you <laughs> you know and then we broke up it really hurt my feelings and i learned from it i realized that i should have just gone at the pace that he was going okay now a couple of months down the line of course he came to apologize and said he wanted us to come back together but of course the train had moved on you know but the lesson i learned was i should have just followed him at his own pace you know if i had just followed him at his own pace i would have known if you know he liked me or if we should have just have stayed at friend, as friends or if i should just yeah if i should if if i should <laughs> i should not even bite my tongue buster rhymes <laughs> if i should even have you know wasted my time with him so why am i saying this to you please just go at his own pace you're welcome back now for my second question a lady sent me this question she says my pastor gave me a prophecy that a brother in church is my god-ordained partner however he is not my type i don't like him and i fear that the feeling might be mutual our first meeting was blank boring awkward what can you advise me grace now let me start by quoting a scripture in amos 3 3 the bible says can two work together they do not agree now if two of you are feeling you know that you're not meant to be it just might be that you are not meant to be now this is just me saying now and I do not, you know, particularly like the idea of your pastor choosing your spouse. Now, I'm sure he didn't impose it on you. He probably just said it from the spirit, what God told him. Now, as much as I do not like the idea, he might be right or he might be wrong. Okay. But the Bible says that we should test all spirits. Nobody is spiritually, you know, superior to you. You have your mouth. Pray. Go on your knees and pray. He might have trained, your pastor might have trained himself. You know, to the point where his antennas are sharp he can hear god clearly however god speaks to us at every level that we're at communicates to us at every level that you're at as we're at so wherever you are right now he can talk to you maybe through your dream maybe through somebody else maybe through a book maybe even through this video okay but don't despise the level that you're that you are now spiritually pray to god ask him Oh God, you have spoken to me through a prophet saying that this person is my husband. However, I am in doubt. God already knows that you are in doubt. So talk to him, be real. Tell him and, you know, let him ask him if really this person is my husband. Lord, speak to me in a way that I would understand. Communicate to me in a way that I would understand. You know, through my dream, through whatever means that I would understand. Let me know if really this person is my husband and how to proceed from this and also speak to the other person as well let the communication be mutual let the feeling be let, let the information be on the same level let him hear from god and you also hear from god so that when you come together if there'll be a second date they're really precise as to you know what god will have you both do okay now secondly do not allow type spec um idealism to block you from seeing someone's actual qualities beyond their physical attributes okay height beauty and all of these things don't really matter matter much when marriage is concerned to be honest from my experience these things don't really matter much to be honest and i got married to my husband um yes age was a problem for me but when i got to know him more you know i, I realized that the age thing wasn't really about me i wasn't really worried about his age i was worried about what people would say okay so sometimes we're dating to appease people you know we're dating for social media content to you know look like the ideal couple but the only ideal couple is the one that god approves of if you get what i mean so what am i saying to you have an open mind okay you might not really look like what you want 
but if you get to know him if you give yourself the opportunity to get to know him you might just see that he has very solid values values solid character solid spiritual background you know he might just be the husband material that you need as opposed to the physical attributes that you want okay so please or have an open mind and when you do have these dates that you go on it will be only boring if you do not go with a plan or a goal or with your questions okay if you go there saying okay let me just see let him ask the questions and i'll just answer he might not really be the talking type he might not really be the one who the, the quite the conversationalist so go with your questions ask him questions like okay what are your values where do you see yourself in social and so yes time you know what's your spiritual life like you know do you read your bible you know you want to ask him questions that matter now i'm just giving you sample questions you can go online or if you want me to you know help you with questions that you can ask on the first date or on the second date rather send me a dm but the one that sent me this question send me a dm and ask me okay so what what kind of questions can i ask this person you know ask them um I might even drop a, a video like that pretty soon. Okay, questions that you can ask on a first date. Ask him and have an open mind. And then pray. Pray for God to open your eyes to see. There are certain things that you might not see except through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. So let the Holy Spirit guide you. Open, let him open your eyes to see. Let him speak through you and open your eyes, your ears to hear. You know what your ears wouldn't hear ordinarily when you go on these dates. And most importantly, not your pastor will let the peace of God guide you. Thank you so much. I believe this um, question or your this answer I've given you a profile will help you. Okay. By the grace of God. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Now, if you want to send your question, I am excited to answer your questions. You can either send me the question through my email address, which is Grace E. Renner at gmail.com okay it's on the screen the spelling is on the screen grace e renner so grace e renner there's no dot no underscore no nothing as it is on the screen at gmail.com or you could send me a dm via instagram at grace renner official or you could send me a whatsapp message through the whatsapp number on your screen and i'll be delighted to answer your questions yes before i forget i wrote a book it's called the secret to unlocking his heart and mind Kindly patronize me through my website, www.p31projects.com. Trust me, this book will bless you. Kindly share this video so that more people can see it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.